Noah, I think you're about to start kindergarten. Are you going to be ready? Uh. Say yes, sir. I think you can do tender diving. Yep. Say I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Say that. Mm. That's right. Say it, no. Say it. Say I can. Nineteen. Say I. I. Can. Do. No. Say say what? Repeat after me. You trying to get ahead of me? Say I. I. Can. Then. Do. Do. All. All. Things. Things. Through. Do. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Who gives me strength? Gene. Say who? Who? Gives me she. No, say 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 what I say. Say who? Who? Gives me she. No, no say strength. I'm gonna tell you say that in a minute. Say who? Who? Gives Deal. me the. Now you say strength. She. All right, good job. High five.
I know that I'm a hard person to work for, but uh, you know, a lot of people saying like, you know, in the comments like, hey, get you some help, hire some help, this, that, and that. You know, just, just, just tell them about some of the experiences we have with hiring help as far as like me firing people <laughs> for not do doing the job right, you know. Cause one thing about skilled labor, is like it, most skilled laborers, they have like a skill and like an artistry, you know, like a, a art, I would say, to their work, to their skilled labor, like the carpenters and the plumbers and the electricians, you know, they, they look at it like an art and it's like they get they put their all into it, you know, just like our carpet installer, Greg. You know, you saw that he was putting his all into it, and it was like a profession, like an art, you know, to him. And uh, it's hard to find those people because they're <laughs> so busy, you know. Because once you do one job for one person, you don't even have to say anything. Word of mouth just travels. Mm -hmm. And so the way that I do things, you know, I do them like a, like it's an art, you know. Like I put it. If I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to research it and study it. Like, I'm not going to put my hands on it until I know, like, I have a feel for how it's supposed to be done, what I'm supposed to do. I'm not just going to blindly walk onto the work site, you know. So, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like any work site that I walk onto, after a couple of days, they're going to make me a supervisor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to see, like, the quality of the work that I put in. I might not know everything. But I can give not a hundred percent. A hundred percent is not, not not good enough. I'm gonna give a thousand percent, and then the next day I'm gonna try to give a thousand and one, and the next day I'm gonna try to give a thousand and two. Y'all get my point? You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not a good painter. I just I've given myself like in this moment, you know, in this season, to this craft to try to learn how to paint without slopping paint <laughs> everywhere, you know. Uh, and yeah, and, and you have to do it in order to learn. You know, and uh, so it's just an art to it, and you can't do stuff halfway. You know, that's that that's not even accepted. You know, like the Bible says, in my house, like as as for me in my house, <laughs> you know, we're gonna do whatever we can to give our full effort. You know, and the next day we're gonna try to go one percent above it. You know, just like my buddy Greg said. So it's just as I'm doing this, as the Bible says, I'm doing it as unto the Lord. You know, I don't need a supervisor to oversee me. You know, like I'm like the ant. You know that, that that needs no overseer. That, that that's my desire. You know, I want to be able to to know that Jesus is here. Like, I don't know if you can feel His presence or not while you're watching this video, but like God is here. Like His presence is is filling this room. So as we steward over this mobile home that Jesus has given us, when He walks through this place and He looks at the ceilings and He looks at the walls, like I want Him to say, be able to say, "Well done, my good and faithful servant," because uh, you know, this is just. Uh, one phase of, of how the Lord is trying to teach us and how he's trying to help me to grow and it's not all about painting but it's all about you know being faithful over what he's given us the few so that he can make us ruler over the many and if I'm not faithful over the few I can't expect for him to increase us into the many so I'm trying to give him my full effort you know uh, and if I don't know what to do I want to research it you know before I put my hand on this paintbrush <laughs> I want to have an idea of what it takes to paint you know, I actually, before, when I first started painting, I called Greg, because Greg is a professional painter as well, and uh, a carpet guy, guy that y'all saw putting down our carpet. I called him, and I asked him questions about painting, and he told me which paintbrushes to get, what type of rollers, and all those type of things. So I did my research, and uh, so, yeah, that's, it's just a beautiful thing to be able to be used by the Lord in so many different ways. You know, we've been out on the streets preaching and casting out demons, and you know, healing, raising dead and healing sick and doing all those things. Power to bind. You give us power, Lord God, to loose anything that we bind on earth, Lord God. You promised, Lord God, that it should be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. Anything that we loose on earth, Lord God, you promised, Lord God, to loose it in heaven. Lord God, so we bind Satan in Jesus' name. We bind murder in Jesus' name. We bind death in Jesus' name. Man, hallelujah, keep worshiping, hallelujah. Hey. Jesus, we bind any principality, any power. Lord God, we speak life. We speak life on this corner. This corner shall be known for life and not death. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hey, witness you have power. 
worship him. Oh, Hallelujah. The devil can't stand worship. Come on, keep going. Hallelujah. You don't need any energy once you leave this place. Give it all right here. Give it all right here. Hey. The Holy Spirit gives us power. Oh, Lord. And it's like in this season, I have to give myself fully to painting, you know, to these small little things. You know, just as much as I did back in that past season of being out in the streets, casting out demons, stomping up and down the streets in, 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 in a demonically polluted area, I have to give my full and my all to this in the same way. So we're just about done painting in the back of the house in our room. Uh, we started there and actually it's an awesome thing that we did because we're working our way in the living room kitchen area where there is an air conditioner and you know it heats up towards the middle of the day. So we're right on time to be in the air conditioner in the hottest part of the day. Who could have planned it any better than that? But yeah, so Tim is in here. He's uh, painting in our room. We do have carpet down already in our room. And I know you might be wondering, why are they still painting and there's carpet down? Well, we had some people, you know, had cats, our friends come down to help paint. But it really needed a second coat. And we're very particular about how, you know, we want it done, how we want it to look. So we still have to go and do a second coat and cut in all the spaces. So we're working on that. Tim's actually in the bathroom painting now. So I'll just show y'all around and you'll get to see what we've done so far. I guess I'll just start in the bathroom and show you what he's got going on. Oh. Hey, how's it coming in here? Coming good. Good. Yeah, get this bathroom done and get on into the living room kitchen area. Get good. this ceiling repainted. Sounds like a plan. Yep, yep, yeah. So uh, you know, the, the the thing about uh, you know, sometimes you know, all help, all help is good. But the thing about you know, when you have help, is like you, you kind of gotta like <laughs> you know. It's kind of a certain way that we want things to look, if you can understand what I'm saying. 
and uh, it didn't look that way that we wanted it to look mm -hmm. after our volunteer team helped us paint. Yeah. So we're just going back over it, getting it locked in, so we can lay in the bed at night and look up at the ceilings yeah. and like, be happy with the with thing about product. The thing about it, when you have help, it's just unpredictable. Yeah. You don't know like when you're gonna get done, or yeah. you know if it needs a second coat, you know they're gone so you have to do it like that yeah, next right. day yeah. so just you know the the having a big team you know having a bunch of people to help is great but then you know things but some things become out of your control right. to the yeah. point where you have to like okay let me assess you yeah. know once it's done <laughs> right. if we need to do more because if we had done a coat you know and we need to do a second coat we would be doing a second coat mm -hmm. you know but right. We and might work is, into the night, but we're not yeah. going to work into the night with, with a team. team. And the thing is, you know, my, my goal was to have the ceilings painted before I got the carpet put in. But, you know, with the expectation of thinking that the ceilings were going to be painted, you know, when we had the team through. Uh, and I didn't know we were going to have to go over it twice. Right. And then I already had the carpet got set up for that next, next week. Day, yeah. you know, next day, yeah. Next, next couple away, days. Next yeah. couple days. And so carpet is down now, so I kind of got to work around the carpet. But it's fine because uh, we have this nice... Uh, drop cloth here, and uh, we're we're good, and we're just rolling, you know, rolling with the punches. So far, we haven't gotten anything on the carpet. The drop cloth has saved me a couple right. of times, but uh, Tim seems to be working very precisely. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk y'all around and just um show y'all, just kind of update y'all on what we've done so far and what our plans are as we continue on in Emma. So here is where our kitchen will be. We have our cabinets ordered, they're on the way. And actually y'all, we're pretty much moved in Emma just in terms of everything we've been using Emma for. We've been taking showers, homeschooling, going to the bathroom. And Emma has been great so far, but we're just kind of working around, doing the things that we know that we need to do in order to fully move in and you know, we, are trying to finish up the ceiling paint and also we need to come in with laminate we're doing the uh, not uh, luxury vinyl plank flooring so we'll come in with that as well and then once we finish hey boys hey. once we finish with the um, ceiling paint and the flooring we can actually move in beds and we'll get a big king size bed for our room the boys are excited about getting their bunk beds so then we can actually begin the process of really moving in and you know somewhere in that time our cabinets will come and we'll be able to start to put together the kitchen we're getting the bottom cabinets and countertops and we are going to go with the open shelving for those of you that voted for open shelving. <laughs> um, but I'll have plenty of storage in the bottom cabinets. And I think that the open shelving is pretty much going to be decorative. And I might just, you know, use it for the plates that we use on a daily basis. Buy some probably really nice white ones. And then have some nice mugs and cups out. The things that we'll use every day. And then I should have plenty of storage in the bottom cabinets for everything else. So that'll happen over here in this area in the kitchen. I think y'all are going to be really excited about how the kitchen comes together. And I cannot wait for our first um, session in the IAG kitchen. We're going to bake some bread. We're going to make some wonderful recipes. It's going to be on and pop. So that is, you know, we haven't made it to this room yet. Um, once Tim is done in the bathroom, we'll come in. This is a pretty large room, but once we've done this room and gone over with the second coat, um, we'll pretty much be in there. We'll just have two more smaller rooms here that we need to do the homeschool room and then the boys room. So we're just working our way into it. We have to use a drop cloth, but it really hasn't been bad at all. We've been able to pretty much uh, just neatly paint. And because we're doing the cutting in and the second coat, it's more of a detail. Well, I'm doing more of the detail work. Anyway, so not a lot of opportunity for me to just have to slop around the paint. And Tim is um, good at being careful with the roller. So 
we're in there y'all we're just working it down and i'll just update you as we get the rooms painted and there's just one more step we can get the ceilings painted then next will be flooring trim we'll get countertops and cabinets in and before you know it we'll have full-fledged everything done and we'll be moved to emma to the next one. Job Megan is still back there working on cutting in, but uh, we just ran out of paint. And uh, we got most of this kitchen, living room area done. We got our whole bedroom, bathroom done. So I don't know if y'all can see the difference in the two sides, but uh, we worked on this side here. And uh, I got this whole side done. And uh, where I stopped it is right there, if you can see. Uh, right, past, right, right past the fan a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, you can kind of see how it looks a little bit more full over there. And over here you can kind of see it's just just a little bit splotchy you know you can kind of see like dark spots that's where it, you know hadn't been painted you know and, and and that's the reason why i had to go back over the whole thing is because it's so splotchy because i, I can't really you know uh fill in the gaps because there's so many gaps and so many different spots so we're just deciding to go over the whole thing again and uh make it look good like i say so we can just rest easy and establish this home but we still had this whole side to do and uh <clears throat> it's covered the hallway you gotta redo the hallway you can kind of see where it's kind of splotchy it gotta redo this room so it, like i said so it just looks smooth and nice and then we also have to go back over this room as well yeah, everything's looking good so far but uh, we're gonna take a break and then uh let megan what you got for us for lunch megan get a better, better sandwiches. hold on let me come over to you What's for lunch? Just some quick peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And sunflower butter sandwiches for Titus, right? Yeah, sunflower butter for Titus. That's good. Well, all right, y'all, we're going to take a break. I'm going to head to Home Depot and get some more paint. Megan's going to whip up some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for us and a sunflower butter sandwich for Titus. And uh, we'll get back started after we get done with, with our break.
right y'all tim's back from getting paint and we are putting on plug covers we're gonna pause on painting for now even though we didn't finish we're just gonna pick back up on a fresh day tomorrow but what we've done so far with the paint looks great just when we came back in emma from being outside it was like oh it looks so good so we're super excited about that but for now we're just gonna get these plug covers on it's all a part of this finishing work that we're doing I got the plug cover covers that are a little flexible <laughs> because I remember back in our old house, I would break them all the time because I, 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 mm -hmm. I always over tighten them. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah, we yeah. look good, mm -hmm. nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. I got a bunch of different kinds in here, so I had to dig through them. Oh, yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, I had to clean up sheetrock mud from <laughs> around them so, so they can fit. I don't know who did the sheetrock around oh, here, but yeah. they need to be fired. Whatever. They need to pay for it. He crazy. Like I try not to electrocute myself. Oh boy. I ain't got shot number one time. Cause these plugs, it's all it takes. They actually need to be cleaned off. And when I was painting, you know, I was getting a little bit of paint on it and I had a wet rag. Cause mm. I was wiping the paint off with a wet rag. Don't red. tell them that. And, and, and one, of the, one of the times when I wiped it, it kind of hit me just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So I Listen, they're already concerned about you and your health, so you can't tell them about some of this, uh, you know, reckless stuff that you've been doing. Yeah. What you say, God take care of babies and fools? <laughs> oh, you ain't no baby. Look at that, that look good. It does look good. It's so good, you know, to. Start to see everything look like finished. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the little details add up. Yeah, for real. See how it kind of flexes as I'm going in? Mm -hmm. See the old plug covers well, that I used to use. Well, it's cracked a little cracked. bit right yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. It's going to look does. good with that, uh, your countertops, mm -hmm. your granite, well, no, your uh, quartz countertops. Quartz countertops. Yeah. You got a lot of plugs, too. Mm-hmm. We don't have to fight over the plug for my coffee maker. Right, that's right. You don't have to be unplugging my coffee maker to plug in your crock pot or your uh, mixer or something. Yeah, that's right. Because I am going to have my crock pot, my blender, and my mixer. That's right. That's super important. Yeah. Get some of these uh, lamb chops and roasts and really? whatnot in the crock pot. So how's it feeling to be doing, you know, finishing type work? It really feels good, you know, and uh, it just feels good to be a part of the process, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah, you know when we were in store at Harrison's house, I can't even remember. Like you putting the plug covers on something you just like did, yeah, 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 you know you you did a lot of the work and uh, I know when we moved in, I was super pregnant, you know, like I can remember the first night that we moved in and you were uh, putting silicone caulk in the <laughs> in the shower oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was like falling us. I was asleep pretty much. I was asleep on the couch. You and our dog trimmed it. Yeah, I was asleep on the couch and you were caulking the shower and um, we had moved everything in in like that one evening yep. in the rain. In the rain, the Lord told us to. Right, and I was pregnant and I was like done after we moved in and you were still going, like going. Uh, and then, you know, we were setting it up as a ministry out there and mm -hmm. uh, the ministry started that night because one of the neighbors That's got stuck right. and needed to be pulled out. And when I went over there to pull them out, they were all drunk. They had been partying. So it was just an amazing opportunity. First night yeah, out there in the right. streets. So, yeah, so we were like going hard full force right away. Yeah, I think I was pregnant with Tim Jr. That's all right. Yeah, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. I was pregnant with Tim Jr. And he was born in January. I think we moved in in November. Yeah. I think this is more safe because they got a rubber handle. You know? Oh. It's professional. Don't look safe. What you're doing right now don't look safe. Uh, What's what, the what I say? Uh, 
Not how to, y'all. Do not. Actually, not, how not, not, not to. How not, not to. Not you can, not how to, but how not how to. How not to do it. Don't, Don't do, do it, it like, like Tim, please. I'm still alive. I've made it through tractors catching fire. Did y'all know about that one? When I was out there setting those fence posts. See, y'all just think, you know, if you just came around, you just think that we just put that fence up and it's just like fence. <laughs> no, I almost lost my life putting that fence up. You know, literally, like as I was putting those, I had a, a big auger to put those big telephone poles in the ground, you know, for our corner posts for our fence. And uh, on, the, on the last stretch on the back, tractor caught fire on. We had a four 600 tractor and it literally caught fire. Like I saw the flames like coming towards my face and I jumped off without one burn on my body. Mm -hmm. and, and when I walked up to you, what did I say? Tractor caught fire. Caught fire to fire. Caught fire to fire. And the fire department wasn't no good when they got here. Nah. They sent Hours old, later. They sent some old city fire department out here and they couldn't get through the mud. Their truck didn't have four wheel drive. Right. So they had to call one of the neighbors from down the street with a pressure washer to come put the fire out. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think it was like the Raymond Volunteer Fire Department yeah, that uh, came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, like we got the whole kitchen done. Oh, good. That's good. I guess we'll, yeah, we got some more over here. It's starting to look like like home in here. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to go uh bed shopping. Oh, I can't, yeah, I can't wait to nice. get my big king size bed back. Mm -hmm. Get the boys their bunk beds. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about about moving in? That's it, you know, just being able to Sleep in a nice, big, cushy bed and, you know, I guess having everything put together. I'm probably most excited about the kitchen, yeah. you know, because right now I've been going back and forth to the camper yeah. cooking, so. You've been cooking some good meals, too, in that camper. Well, good. I can only imagine. How it's going to increase. Did mm -hmm. you tell them about them lamb chops that you made, the lamb steaks? Uh, I didn't. I, I think you took a little video, then. I took a little video of my... My lamb, uh, that was the next day. Okay. So with the leftovers of the lamb chops and the new potatoes and gravy, I made lamb chop steak and potato alfredo. Alfredo, yeah. It was, it was, steak yes. and potato alfredo. Right, lamb steak and potato alfredo. So. You gotta say alfredo. I like pray. Okay. Potato, potato. <laughs> well, but if I say potato, then I can say Alfredo. Oh, yeah, right. But if I say potato, I gotta say Alfredo. Right. <laughs> but I yeah. So I don't know if y'all see the shine or not, it, but it's like the, you can see the shine on the wall and the, the shine, shine on the plug. We had to get in and clean up the, you know, the, the thing. Yeah, the remaining yeah. thing. I had to test it out before I started recording. Oh, uh, yeah, for real. Yeah, this is an important part here. Because, uh, you know, before we move all the way in, even though we're doing a lot of stuff in here already, because we have kids, you know? <laughs> and and, 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 and yes. uncover plugs and kids don't mix. Right. Neither do unplug or <laughs> uncover plugs and you. Right, neither do unplug or uncover plugs and you. I know, I'll be telling everybody. <laughs> you just told them. Y'all hear how I mean Megan is to me? Okay, whatever. Don't, don't think it's just me. Mm -hmm. I talk noise to Megan, but she talk noise, talks noise to me as well off camera. Whatever, I, that was on camera. Okay, so we got one over here. And I get one in every now and then when I can. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of plugs in here. It is. That's a good thing. Uh-huh, because when you need a, to charge something, like mm -hmm. you said, we won't be fighting. Because usually yes. in other houses before, we would have to have a um, power surge strip. Protector. Yeah, yeah. surge protector. And like every plug just about. Going our bedroom next? Yes. 
Let's do it. That carpet gotta take them shoes off. Looks good in here. Smells like fresh paint. Mm hmm. Alright, let's see how these do. They kind of suck off in a little bit. Because of the wine, Scotty. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. This should still be fine. Yeah. Might not be able to screw them as far. All the way here. Mm hmm. But I wanted to get the one. Like that, right there. Like that, pink. Probably some type of way I can like float these, box these things out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I have looking up tight in there. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, I see that they have a plug kind of loose. Mm -hmm. So when you screw into it, it, it pulls, pulls it out. It pulls it up. Oh, okay, good, yeah. good. Mm -hmm, that's smart. All right, we. Actually, yeah, we have to do it all over the whole house, so. We've got the living room down, living room, kitchen area. So our bedroom, and then the, the amount of plugs per room start to go down. We have a lot of plugs. And I think in the other rooms, they're just a couple of plugs. Mm -hmm. so. That would be a real good right there. Oh, they, yeah, that they, looks good. They kind of had the plugs floated out on that one. Oh, good. I feel like yeah. they got it like that on the rest of them. Mm -hmm. I don't need to get enough. <laughs> I'm just going to let you go through. Really? Just crawl along. <laughs> just crawl on through. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to continue to get these plug covers on. And uh, we're going to try to get them done today. And then we'll just pick y'all back up tomorrow when we finish up with the ceiling paint. So we'll see y'all then. All right, y'all. I just want to jump in real quick and show y'all who just pulled up. It's amazing. <laughs> Old hey, Greg, our carpet installer, our friend. Yes, sir. And he pulled up with some blessings back here on the back of the truck. Because y'all know we have a whole lot of trim to do. And you say this is about $200 worth of trim here. That's propat, pro yes, pro sir. Propat, and then what, what all you got up under here and that's, under the clock? The guys are more than enough, so they get choices. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got crown, we got base. Uh, that other people just toss away and threw away that can be used for good purpose. And we're talking about some high dollar stuff, so God is good in that, and, uh, and this is the overflow. I love it, I love it. So I just wanted to jump in real quick and just show y'all who pulled up at the farm, Greg and Darlene. What's up, Darlene? Hey. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get this stuff unloaded, get it put in the barn, and uh, Greg, is, he's back in measuring. He, we gotta watch him, because he'll start installing stuff. He'll be here, he he'll, be, he'll be here till five o'clock in the morning again. Yeah. <laughs> Not again. But we're not gonna speak it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright y'all, let me put this down and get this unloaded. Alright y'all, it's a beautiful day on the farm this morning. We're back at it. And uh, we kind of took a few days over the weekend to kind of recoup and uh, get ourselves back prepared to get done painting the ceiling inside of Emma. And to also, uh, as, you, as you all saw, Greg brought us some, uh, some trim that we can use around the doors. And the windows and so we have new supplies we have more paint <laughs> and we're ready to go and so i'm gonna get in here and just get started it's uh early well it's not too early because i kind of started slow and uh you know got my goals that i want to get accomplished for this week kind of you know written down and had me a good plan going forward and so uh we're gonna get in there and get rolling and uh we should get these this week we should get uh well today i should get the, the ceiling uh done painted and then after I get done painting the ceiling, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, get some of that trim up around. It might take me about two or three days because I, I kind of got to get a feel for that trim. Uh, Greg was kind of talking me through uh, how to cut it and how to uh, get the angles and everything. He said that there's this uh, little, uh, what did he call it? Uh, carpenter's something. Uh, block, Carpenter's block, I believe. Mason's block or something like that he said that I can use to cut those angles and get that, that 45 degree angle perfect. But it seems like what he was telling me and what he was showing me that I can do it with a speed square as well. So I think I'm gonna try it with a speed square and kind of get an idea of it with that. But uh, we'll see. And like I said, if that doesn't work, I'll go ahead and get that, that Mason's block, Carpenter's block that he told me about and get all those angles cut and get all the trim around the windows. We're gonna wait for the trim around on the floor. I can also do the trim on the, on the around the roof line, the ceiling. 
But I think I'm gonna just do the trim around the windows and uh, just wait and then get the flooring in and then finish the rest of the trim. But let's get in here, y'all, and get to work and uh, see if we can get these ceilings uh, painted, get done with that. How's it going, home school? Good. Y'all about done? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to hang over top of y'all and paint. Y'all gonna be alright with that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm not done. You're not done? It's alright. We gotta go with our book, but we got both. both. I know it's not old school, but I need to do this page first. I just started. Yeah. I wrote something. Sounds good. Y'all take your time and get done. But y'all see we had a boy separated. It's some projects that they do. It's best to separate them. You know, like I said, when they're doing worksheets, because they have this book here that they work through. And each one of them has, you know, their individual work. Noah's still in preschool. He's not in kindergarten yet. Titus is in kindergarten. And Tim, you're in second grade? Almost. I'm moving into second grade. Titus moves in. Moving into first Okay, yeah, so, so uh, the, the, the new school year is about to start. Titus is moving in the first grade. He's graduating from kindergarten. Tim is graduating from first grade, moving to second grade. Noah, I think you're about to start kindergarten. Are you going to be ready? Uh. Say yes, sir. I can even do kindergarten. Yep. Say, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Say that. Mm. That's right. Say it, no. Say it. Say, I can. Nineteen. Say, I. I. Can. Do. No, say say what? Repeat after me. You trying to get ahead of me? Say I. I can. Can. Do. Do. All. All. Things. Things. Through. Do. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Who gives me strength? G. Say who? Who? Gives me. G. No, say 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 what I say. Say who? Who? Gives me. G. No, don't say strength. I'm gonna tell you say that in a minute. Say who? Who? Gives? Give me? The? Now you say strength. Team. All right, good job. High five. All right. That's right. Each one teach one. All right, y'all, let's get to work. My wristwatch is broken. My shoes are untied. Time is a ticking, so is the tide. But I am not worrying, things are what they are. Come rain or come shine or a shooting star. I've been to the south, I've been to the north. East and the west, the middle, of course. I may have been astray, but I've never been lost. I've never been beat by the road I've crossed. I guess I've been lucky to some degree for someone who ate all the food. Stars been aligned and my goose hanging high. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. I was born at morning on the first day of June, nineteen hundred and something. A sweetheart, my father was too. They left me a watch and an old pair of shoes. I guess I've been lucky to some degree for someone who ate all the food from the tree. The stars been aligned and my goose hanging high. Be okay in the sweet by and by. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. 
right y'all I got the living room kitchen area done and uh, I got some spots because this this paint is supposed to be able to hide and uh, you know they had the popcorn ceiling the texture because they they uh, they didn't want to like uh, sand it down and get it even where the you know pieces of sheetrock met up with one another so I kind of built it up pretty thick right there you can kind of see where it's still wet it and it was kind of like a different kind of texture right there where those two pieces of sheetrock meet up it so I got it built up real good on all those spots and it seems like the paint is uh, doing its job, the, the flat ceiling paint from Home Depot. Uh, it's supposed to be able to hide some of the imperfections. And uh, it seems like it's doing pretty good. And uh, I got this section done in here. And I'm about to move on to the next room, down the hallway and to the boys' room and the bathrooms. And I'll be done. I've just arrived at the farm and Tim and the boys have been working on painting the ceilings all morning when I've been off the farm. So I'm super excited to see what they've gotten done and their progress. So I'm just going to walk in with y'all. So let's see what they got. Well, I smell fresh paint. Where is it? Yes. Don't tell her. Alright, I see paint here. Alright, I see progress on the ceiling in the homeschool room. And I see them rolling here in the boys' room. Just cutting it in around the edge. Oh, good. This is my last one here. Yeah. I might go touch up with some other spots, but mostly I'm done with mostly, you know, all the bulk of it. Awesome. And I'm cutting it in around the edges here. And I'm gonna go back over here. Got my tarp down. Yep. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. Walk around looking. At I'm walking around. All right. So we um, almost completed the ceiling last time, but we ran out of paint. So it looks like he's picked it back up, and I can see this area here has been painted. It looks so good. Good job, y'all. <laughs> it looks really great. You can really tell the difference now that we have the second coat. Um, it's so funny because it's a ceiling. You don't expect it to be like, oh, look at that ceiling. It's kind of like, it just blends into the background. <laughs> So it's more of like, oh, you don't notice the ceiling anymore. You don't notice that it still needs to be painted. So it just looks light, bright, fresh, and clean. And that is exactly what we're going for. It looks absolutely great. I'm excited with the progress, even though it's a, you know, it's not really like a dramatic difference in itself because you don't want the ceiling to be like, you know, something different unless you were, you know, making some type of accent piece. But the point is every little thing just kind of makes it look more finished and makes it come together. And so I just love that. And um, yay, <laughs> we're getting our ceilings painted. So I'm excited. And then y'all know next step is going to be um, working on our flooring, uh, trim, uh, the, uh, cabinets are on their way for the kitchen and the countertops for the kitchen so it's all just coming along Oh yeah. I love my paintbrush back up. All right. Yeah, everything is getting more homely. Mm -hmm. I definitely uh noticed the you know the differences yeah. once it's you've completed you know. It's the feel. Uh huh. It really is. And um even once we got the carpet in, I noticed it's less echoey. Yeah. You know even without furniture. I'm gonna add light to this. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, I'm putting it on thick, so. Right. I have to go back and reload. Mm -hmm. I do about two, two, two and a half lines, three lines. Okay. And then come on back. This okay. is actually the best, the, the smoothest semi. It is. It's uh -huh. not as comfy, I noticed. Yeah, uh huh. It's like the popcorn ceiling, you know, they probably put it on with a spray gun or something. Yeah. And so it might have got a little bit thicker. It just scraped room. off better yeah, yeah, in this is. room for some reason. Yeah, I'm glad to be working this step down here. Oh, uh, yeah, Because right. I wasn't looking forward to going back over these ceilings. Mm -hmm. But it's like every step I'm not looking forward to. It. <laughs> we did the gutters. I wasn't looking forward to that. When we did the roof, uh, recoating roof, I wasn't looking forward to that. It's like, well, some of those steps, <laughs> some of those steps you didn't know any better, you yeah, know, exactly. until you started doing Come it. And then realized, you're like, oh, this is not doable. <laughs> like, it takes like a whole 15 man crew to do this, like machines, lifts, like, yeah. And so it's kind of like once you start the process, then you weren't, you know, yeah. but you were rolling, so there's it, nothing you can do there. I didn't know though, right? I wouldn't have did it if I would have knew. <laughs> But I got it done. It's completed, man. Ignorance. What did they say? Ignorance is bliss. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know about bliss, but you know, you were ignorant enough to start it and complete it. But that's the thing. Once you did know, you didn't give up. Because right. that takes, you know, discipline and character. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's one thing, like, you didn't know and you got yourself in over your head. But what I love about you is you'll get yourself in over your head, but you'll finish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't give up. You gotta learn how to grit your teeth, stomp your shit a couple times, and then say, "Who is this?" I remember when. Uh, oh yeah, that's what that, that's what happened. The roof uh, was leaking, oh, and that's yeah. what I did. I walked back and forth through the mobile home two or three times. I was by myself early in the morning, and I was I was trying to figure out because uh, I can't remember what I thought I was gonna be doing first, you know. But uh, the roof started leaking, and it was kind of discouraging. And I walked back. I walked like the whole length of the mobile home. And I still felt discouraged. So I walked back to the other end of the mobile home. Still felt discouraged. And about that third time when I walked the length of the mobile home, I started getting a little bit upset, you know. And that is it, over with. Like once I started getting frustrated and grumpy, it's over with. Can't understand <laughs> stand before me. That's probably how it was with David. But at that third time, I walked back this way at the end of the mobile home. And I literally said out loud, I said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that think he can come against the armies of my God? And I was literally like, you know, proclaiming that I was about to slay Goliath. There you, go. <laughs> you know, and this roof and the gutters and those rotten gutter trays, those rusty gutter trays, they were a Goliath. You know, it was, mm -hmm. it was a very, very intense process. Y'all yes. remember, y'all saw the videos. Mm -hmm. If you hadn't, go back and watch the videos when we recoated the roof, stripped the roof, and uh, took the old gutters off and put new gutters up. We literally put about 160 feet <laughs> of gutters up, you know. And uh, that's that's pretty intense. On a normal house, it's like 20 to 30 feet, like 30 feet at the most. Really like 10, 15, 20 mm -hmm. feet of gutters, you know, in each stretch. Mm -hmm. But this was like 80 foot stretch right, on the front. Right, because Emma is so back. long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I literally just, I had to just get, get fed up, frustrated, grip my teeth, stomp my feet, you know what I'm saying? And, and just like posture myself and say, I'm going to get this done. You know, and I'm not going to look for nobody to bail me out. You know what I'm saying? Help is good. I, I welcome any help, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, as long as I have Holy Spirit, that's all the help I need, you know? For real. What do you think? Oh yeah, that, that's, that's good. That's good, it's very encouraging. That, that's why, you know, we let you do the walking talks. It's because the way that you disciple is so gentle and like very <laughs> You got your shoes on my carpet too. Oh. But, uh, well, these are my good inside shoes. At least, and not my like pig pants oh, shoes. Yeah, well, I'm but I take them off. I'm yeah, taking I, them I off. I'm sorry. Yeah, good. I'm taking them off. Yeah, I got to talk down, but it's not long enough for the whole mm -hmm. thing. But uh, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, that's why we let you do the walk and talks. Is because you're so much more gentle in your discipleship than I am. Cause I'm like gritty, you know, grindy. Because the way that I get it, like the youngsters say, is like out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like straight from the bottom. You know, mm -hmm. like that's why I started it. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's how Adam started. You know, that's how we all start, really. Like we're all just dirt, and mm -hmm. God breathes into us. And I was like dirt. You know what I'm saying? Like filthy, uh, polluted, mm -hmm. demon possessed. Like I needed to be like isolated from society. But when the Lord got a hold of me, I was like that man in the Gergesenes, I can't remember the city, when Jesus crossed over the river in the boat 
and uh, they say the man had a legion of demons and he couldn't be bound with chains and you know they the, the, the city just put him out the city you know what I'm saying they they, they, they they didn't know how to handle him you know that was me you know what I'm saying like I was just filthy polluted possessed by demons and Jesus spoke into me breathed on me and brought me to life you know what I'm saying so I got a little bit different edge <laughs> than Megan mm -hmm. might have because it's like uh, I heard a guy say one time he was ministering to his son oh, yeah. and uh, he talked about how when he came up, you know, the, the father, uh, he was eating out of trash cans. He was homeless. Like, he took, you know, years and years to get, like, a four-year degree and all this type of, type of stuff. Y'all might know about him. It's a motivational speaker named Eric Thomas. But he said that he was trying to motivate his son because his son was, like, struggling with waking up or something like that. And uh, Eric Thomas, you know, this guy, he was like, I wake up at 3 o'clock every morning. Like, why, why can't you just, like, grit your teeth, like, stomp your feet and, like, make it happen? And uh, his son told him something and he said that it really like sparked something in his mind because he, he was really expecting too much of his son because uh, his son was like dad I've never eaten out of trash cans like you <laughs> you know mm -hmm. like I've never had to like mm -hmm. start from scratch like you right like I've been rich my whole life because of you <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> so his son didn't have that same grit that, that the father had and uh you know that's that grit that I have to where I'm not willing to accept failure and if I do have to fail you're going to have to cut my arm off, cut my leg, like tie me down. And I'm still going to be kicking and screaming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you will not beat me. Christ. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All the way to the end. Yeah. But it's like, if I didn't have that, that grind to me, I would be like somewhere dead or in jail or just doing something stupid if I didn't have that grit, you know? So, so Megan knows. She knows that uh -huh. she has to take the good with the bad yeah. <laughs> because... But that's what makes me who I am, that passion. Right. And it's the same with me, you know. I, I'm calm, peaceful, you know, do the walk and talk, make, you know, disciple gently. But, you know, at the same time, sometimes I might not be as aggressive as I need to be yeah. when I need to be that way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, thank you, Lord. Even though we get on each other's nerves, we have each other. We and, each other. And, you know, we compliment each other. And I'm able to help him, and he's able to help me. And we learn from each other. And we, you know, we butt heads. But I just thank the Lord because, you know, even though I didn't eat out of the garbage can, I can learn from it. You know, I can be encouraged by it. I'm, I'm never going to be Tim, you know. But I'm a more intense Megan because of Tim and I think Tim is you know a more peaceful Tim because of Megan and we can like rub off on each other and compliment each other and help each other out so that's what I say at the end of the day that's my you know PC like <laughs> making it all nice <laughs> After I listen, after I heard everybody's feelings, I had to come like, back and be like, "Y'all, okay. yeah. he 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 said that rough. I know. I'm sorry. He didn't mean it like that. What he really meant was, so yeah, clean up crew. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to get you when I read the Bible. It says uh, we're supposed to be not conquerors, but more, more than, than conquerors. conquerors. We're not supposed to do just works." like good works we're supposed to do greater works than even jesus did so that takes a certain grittiness to get to that mm -hmm. place you know but uh it, it comes in all different forms it's like that's it, it right can come in that's my right form, that's right and it comes in megan's yeah. form and that's why you gotta know who you are and like how the lord made you you know you can be encouraged by somebody else but don't try to be somebody else you know it's a difference like you take that and you let the lord minister it to you and let it come out of your heart, you know, instead and of don't like, say that one person is wrong because they look at it a certain way. Right. So I can't say that Megan is wrong. I understand that Megan is not me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I also understand that, you know, like looking at it, it's the same words. I understand Megan is not me. But I also understand that, hey, Megan is not me. I can't I can't expect for her to be able to do the same things that I can do, you know, to have the same outlook. But right. yeah. And you know, <clears throat> That's what's uh, super frustrating sometimes, but that's the way the Lord made it. He made us as a body of Christ. And it's like he said, the eye is the eye, you know, like, and you got to be grateful for that, that eye, the, that part, that piece, you know, but the eye can't be a toe, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be different, but we all work together. And that's the hard part, I think, because we were like, ah, why don't you like see it like I see it? Why don't you do it like I do it, you know? But it's because you're a toe. But it's like we have to figure out a way to all 
work together and like to use our different gifts and to blend and that's just uh that's just incredibly hard i think you know mm -hmm. at the end of the day but it makes us stronger <laughs> we were watching this movie one time and it was about a pastor and his wife and it, it, it was so funny because it, it reminded us so much of us because the pastor and his wife let me load my paintbrush back up real quick and i finished the story But the pastor and his wife were ministering in the inner city, just like we were at the time. And uh, the pastor, he was a little bit, you know, edgy. <laughs> and his wife, he would be up there, like, speaking. And his wife could tell when he was just gonna, like, you know, <laughs> get off script. Go all the way off. And she would be, she would be praying, like, please, please, Lord, let him, like. <laughs> but it was really good, though. Bring him back. Yeah, for real. Holy let Spirit, him. bring him back. Yeah. Be a guard over his exactly. mouth. He was just, like, going in. <laughs> Cause it's like somebody would ask him a question, you know. They would be in this fancy church, you know. But they were they were ministering in the inner city, you know. You got these million dollar churches in these like impoverished neighborhoods, and this pastor, like he was like, "This is not okay," you know what I'm saying? Y'all in here acting like everything is all good, you know. So, so his sermon would like get cut short because he was like, "What's happening?" <laughs> like we sitting in here all cushy, you know. And it's like folks out there starving, folks out there need the gospel. We don't want to go out there and give it to them. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of me, you know. You can't put me in one of them uh, fancy meetings. It's like Megan knows how to vibe in those meetings a little bit more better. Than I <laughs> and, and, and they want they want they want me in those meetings, you know, because of my past and because of what I've been through and what I've came through. So they want to know my perspective on okay, what can we do to get other people to be able to persevere like you did. But they don't want to hear the answer, though. You know, mm -hmm. They want to hear something that's just soft and PC. Right. They don't want something to hear that we is. can do and still be comfortable. Right. Because that, that's hard. Because it's like, okay, yeah, we invited you to lunch. But uh, now you're making us uncomfortable. So, uh, you know, we changed our minds. <laughs> right. yeah. Let's go find somebody else. Yeah, let's go do something else instead. Somebody to do what we tell them to do. So we can predict. Yeah, but everybody, that's fine. I love it. I'm almost done with this side here of the room. I had this side left and we'll be done Woo painting the ceilings. So uh, I think we can get the boys and go ahead and today's video. All right, sounds good. All right, y'all, we're just um, painting and fellowshipping and we're just about done. We're finishing up. So we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, call it it right here for today and we'll finish up what we can. I think we'll finish today. We'll finish today, right? Oh, yeah, we're gonna finish okay, finish. most definitely we'll finish playing today. So, come on, boys. Yeah, we're definitely gonna call it it right here for today. But it's IG Farms. <laughs> Till I'm complete